Okay guys, today we're gonna to talk about multiples. So the definition of a multiple is a product of that number and any other whole number, which kind of is a confusing math definition. There's a lot of math words in there. So product is gonna to mean to multiply, right? So that's, our, that's our, our math word in here. So the product of that number and any other whole number. So when you're talking about the multiple of a number, it's that number. So if let's say we're talking about the multiples of two, so we'd have two times whatever that other whole number would be. Um, basically, when you're listing multiples, it's like skip counting. So if I was going to do the multiples of two, I would start with two, and then I would put a comma to separate it from the next one, four, because two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, two times five is ten, 2 times 6 is 12, and then you keep going. Now there's an infinite number of multiples for each number because you could multiply that number times anything, all the way up through a million, 10 million, a billion, a trillion, all of that stuff. So there's infinite number of multiples. So most of the time when you see this, what it'll ask you to do is list the first 10 multiples of a number or list the first five multiples of a number. So for example, with this one, we're gonna list the first 10 multiples of the number seven. So we're gonna start with seven times one, which is seven. Seven times two is 14. We're gonna put a comma in between to separate them. Seven times three would be 21. Seven times four is 28. Seven times five is 35. Seven times six is 42. Seven times seven is 49, and I ran out of room. Seven times eight is 56. 7 times 9 is 63, and 7 times 10 is 70. So those are the first 10 multiples of 7. If we then talk, let's talk about another one. So we're going to do the first 10 multiples of the number 6. So same thing. We're going to do 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Whoops, that should be a comma. 36, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 9 is 54, 6 times 10 is 60. So that's the first 10 multiples of 6. Go back here was 6, right? Multiple was 12. List your multiples here and then... Now, Sometimes they won't ask you to list them. Sometimes they'll ask you a certain multiple of a number. So let's go back to that number six that we had a second ago. So let's talk about six. So this first multiple of six, if we, so the first multiple of six is six. The second, right? so we can put 12 there. The fifth multiple, or we could think, what is six times five would be 30. The eighth multiple, or six times eight is 48. So sometimes it'll in something like that, um, but if you don't want to list them, you are welcome to use your multiplication number, your multiplication facts. So in this case, if we do the number three, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times five for our fifth multiple would be 15, three times eight for our eighth multiple is 18. Okay, now sometimes you'll have a number like the number let's say 14. So the first multiple is 14, and the second one we can just double. So 14 plus 14 would be 28. Now sometimes it's tricky because you're gonna get to that fifth multiple and thinking about what 14 times five is can be tricky. So what you can do is take 14 and split it out. Do the break apart method, 10 and four. So you wanna think to yourself, what is five times 10? And that's 50, right? And then what's 5 times 4? That's 20. So the answer to that, if we add them together, is 70. Okay, and we can do the same thing. 4 times 8. So, again, 8 times 10 would be 80. 8 times 4 would be 32. When we add that up, we get 112. So 112 would be our multiple. Okay, that is an introduction to multiples. Thanks, guys. Bye.